Good morning, everybody. I got this fancy new timing light for Christmas. It has a digital tachometer, and I think it also has a voltmeter uh, built in. Well, I know you've seen me do this probably a dozen times, but uh, set the engine at top dead center on the compression stroke of number one, and then we'll check our static timing. All right, I'm rotating the motor around. We're looking for number one. All right, here I can feel pressure building. And here comes the mark. If you look closely, that white paint on the pulley is actually not the mark. Either I did that or somebody else marked that just ahead of where the actual notch in the pulley is. So we just sort of ignore that white mark for the moment. And we're coming around. So there, we're at top dead center on the compression stroke on number one. You can see the notch and the pointer are pretty much lined up there. If I rotate the engine any further, the magneto impulse is going to fire. And there it went. So now we've confirmed that uh, the static timing is set correctly. The impulse is firing at the correct time. Let me bring it around again. This is an early model Farmall Cub. It's a magneto, not distributor. So it's only gonna have one mark on the pulley. And that mark is top dead center. On the later models with distributors, there would be a second mark, perhaps right about there somewhere, probably a little bit less than an inch away from the first one. And that mark signifies, um, they say, 16 degrees before top dead center, which is essentially full advance for this engine. So the reason there's only one mark on here, if I understand it correctly, is that the magnetos uh, run basically at full advance all the time, regardless of RPM. And that, of course, is different from a distributor, which will um, advance based on the RPM of the engine. So. Uh, if we pretend there's another mark right there, roughly 16 degrees before top dead center, essentially full advanced when the engine is running, um, that's about where this should be. And so, in fact, I'm gonna go get the paint pen and we're just gonna mark an arbitrary mark right there, just so we can see the relationship between the top dead center mark and if there was another mark here on the pulley indicating full advance. Again, this is just an arbitrary mark for demonstration purposes only. It's most likely off a little bit one way or another in relationship to the pointer at full advance, but it will suffice in giving us a visual indication under the timing light of how the timing does not advance any further regardless of RPM. The first step is to hook the uh, pickup clip around the number one spark plug wire. And uh, I think I'm actually gonna do this on the other side of the tractor, just so it's not by the hot manifold. You can see I made a mark to remind myself where the number one spark plug wire actually is. Next, we're gonna hook up the uh, leads to the battery. Red goes to positive. Black goes to negative. And don't let the positive ground confuse you. Red goes to positive, black goes to negative. And then clip this guy to a good ground source on the tractor. And next we just plug in the leads to the gun and hopefully we have enough slack here. Yeah, not much extra, but it is enough to reach. I'm gonna set the light down for now until I get the engine running.
If you have time, please leave a comment and a thumbs up. All of that stuff uh, really helps the channel and is appreciated. Take care, everybody. Hope to see you on the next video.